hey you guys welcome back to my channel i know you guys have been waiting for this video and i'm here to deliver you know i'm here to deliver it and i hope i understood the excitement today so i'm going to demonstrate you guys the two tools that i've been using um 0.5 millimeter one hook and three hook so i'm going to demonstrate you guys how i combine my locks and you can use this method to turn small locks into thick locks and thick locks into some wicks okay this is the method that you use there is no right or wrong way i've learned this um my way self-taught on youtube learning any type of way there's the lock that you're going to see me demonstrate you guys on on how perfect that came out you guys okay stay tuned they wanted me to show you guys my enhance your beauty hair growth oil if you're dying for a product okay i swear by this i guarantee this will grow your hair there's a link down below if you're interested okay so let's get into the video so here we are i finished majority of his hair off the camera okay this is a lot of work just patience you will stab yourself no speeding x y and c okay so i've already detangled and loosened up um the locks i put two locks together and they were originally doubled so it's four locks in one so what i do is stick in my three hook 0.5 millimeter crochet hook into the locks and i would detangle as in pulling put the needle into the locks and pulling it out so i can get as much frizzy hair loose hair as i can in order to reconvert it back in to form a solid lock Okay, so this is a rotation that I use to secure my locks, as you see there, okay? There is no right or wrong way. Once again, there is no right or wrong way. There is no rule book to how to do this. You learn as you go, okay? Practice make perfect. So what I'm demonstrating here is me taking out the loose strand of hair and putting it back in together this is how i work fast i am my own person one person work, working on one head and i can work on long locks as in mid back to booty length no longer than that because i am one person and that will take me all day to do okay so yes so this is me demonstrating you guys me converting back the loose hair back into the locks to, to form a solid lock okay so i'm going to demonstrate you guys another lock of how it looks fuzzy and i do notice that certain clients leave it that way um i wouldn't recommend leaving it that way because it will loosen up your hair eventually and it will cause breakage for some reason because you're not converting back that loose hair that you already detangled and put it right back in it's just standing out loose and it can break easily or snap so that's what i feel like it's going to do so i feel like securing it with the one hook which i'm demonstrating you guys there with the one hook it will definitely secure any other loose hair that hasn't been entwined into that lock to make it a form solid lock i hope i explained that very well because i am not a teacher and i do not have patience for that but that is a rotation that i use to make sure that i get any loose hair around the lock back into the lock so it can become a form solid lock and after you do so do so go ahead and palm roll um your hair your lock with wicks whatever you palm roll it you create that friction heat so it become nice and solid and firm okay and i guarantee you guys i keep up with that that was the only maintenance that you need to do no pulling no tugging no twisting just palm roll it together and that would be all okay so as you see there i'm going in and in and in to make sure that the lock is secure you have to feel the lock in order to understand when it's ready to be done to move on to the next hair okay you would know when the lock is ready you know you would know you it would look like a lock once the hair looks like a lock and you don't see no line deformations or anything like that you know and it looks perfect you go on to the next one okay you see those two locks i demonstrated there one is fuzzy and one is completely locked in okay so the fuzzy part is me unraveling detangling as much hair as i can and then go back in and secure them and re-put those loose hair back into the locks okay the, the, the key is to not pull all the way through you will snap the your client's hair and break your client's hair so do not pull all the way through when you when you're doing this stuff because 
I will guarantee you will lose hair, okay? You will lose hair. No adding extensions is needed if it's done correctly, okay, you guys? Here is the full finished product. I am in love with this hair. If you guys have any comment, any questions, go ahead and leave it down below. Like the video, share it. Share it, share it to your locticians, your friends, everybody or anybody who want to do the crochet method. You know you can lock your hair from skinny to big. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, love, and happiness to you all.